Brandon Hernandez. I'm Director of Corporate Affairs for Pacific Gas and Electric Company. I come from a very proud Mexican family. I'm also gay, Latino, and um, all of those things add up to me being a very proud American. I had an incredible childhood, and it wasn't one thing in specific. I would say it was really my childhood in its entirety. Um, I remember just uh, being around family constantly. My parents having our cousins and our tíos and tías over. Um, there was constant, you know, there was always music and food uh, and dancing and, you know, the kids running around. And uh, for me, all the, you know, this, uh, the music, the food, the dancing, you know, the, the yelling, the screaming, that was all, you know, sounds of joy for me. And, and that was my, my childhood was, a, you know, really filled with a lot of love. I, uh, I come from a large family, five sisters, five very proud uh, Latina women, um, and uh, the, our mother, Esperanza, who's uh, a very strong Mexican woman, very proud, um, you know, those, and, and, a, and a very strong father as well. Uh, my siblings and I are very close. Um, we grew up around very family-oriented um, environment, and so it's really um, all those things, all the love, all the joy, that's kind of really what's influenced who I am today always knew, as, as early as anyone knows, they're gay, straight, whatever it is. Um, in retrospect, I've, you know, you always know these things. Um, and you look back at those moments when you're a fit, you know, five-year-old, or in second grade, or on the playground, and you, know, you, you were attracted to you know, uh, the other boy, and, in a way that you didn't realize what was happening at the, at the time. But you know, most kids don't. Um, but the process for me of, of um, talking to my, my family about it was um, I, I never doubted that they wouldn't be supported. Uh, that never crossed my mind. It was, uh, it was more me dealing with, with myself getting to that place where uh, I was able to talk about it openly. Um, and I, the process for me was really one of the things that my, my uh, mother always instilled in us was to have self-confidence and be sure about the decisions we make. And, and as long as we have self-respect, we're going to be okay in life. So she provided us these great tools. So I decided when I was, to take her advice in, um, in getting to the place where I was able to talk to them about it. Um, and I actually went through a process uh, with myself and said, I'm going to, get my, I'm going to educate myself about this. I'm going to feel, get to the place where um, uh, I have the confidence that no matter what anyone says, no matter how anybody reacts, it's not gonna. It's not gonna bother me. When I actually spoke to my parents about it, my dad's reaction was, you know, it is me, mijo. I'll always love you, you know. Um, my mom was more concerned about uh, having a grandchild from me. <laughs> that was the only thing that bothered her. Uh, so, and I said, Mom, I could still have kids. <laughs> I, often, when we're living through life and we're not sharing such a key part of ourselves with someone, it's we create a wall. And it's this barrier that you can't penetrate. Um, and so to bring down that wall, uh, it, it creates an intimacy between two people that uh, you can't have as long as that wall is up. So first, you have to be ready. You have to make sure that you're in a place because you're in a place where you're, where, where you're ready and you're good with it. Um, because if there's one thing you know, our parents want in life, it's they, they want to know that we're, just, that we're gonna be okay. If they see that we're that we have doubt or that we're insecure about something, then they're going to have doubt and be insecure about your decision. So I, I would say get to that place where uh, where you're where you're feeling good about it, and 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 you know try to process it and understand yourself. I say do it on your own time, do it when you're ready, but it, it's going to be the most wonderful decision you've ever made. Um, being on both the, the board of Voto Latino and the board of Victory Fund. Um, here, here we have two national prominent organizations um, empowering LG, LGBT community and the Latino community, Latino youth. Um, and it's where these are two communities that are essentially being attacked by the same people. Uh, the, the same people that are anti-immigrants or anti-Mexican, you know, uh, are often anti-gay. They're the same ones that are, you know, uh, trying to fight us from having full equal rights. And so I, I, I really would like to see us come together uh, 
and and work more closely together and be aligned because I think we're going to be that that much more powerful if we were to align ourselves. You know, who's going to mess with gay Latino organizations coming together? You know. Uh,